The SLS AMG is a powerhouse and not only on the racetrack. The dual clutch transmission is compact and placed between the axle drive shafts of the back wheels. The transmission has a transaxle configuration. The dual clutch transmission changes gear without interruption in tractive power. In the manual mode, gear changes are possible in 100 milliseconds. Before you remove the transmission, fix the vehicle properly on the car lift. Then raise the vehicle. First, remove the rear underbody lining and the bracing. Then remove the control unit for the parking brake. Disconnect the right brake cable. The left brake cable and the emergency release Bowden cable remain connected. Secure the control unit in a safe place. Remove the rear bracing. Then the exhaust system. To do this, undo these screws. You get the torque values from the VIS document on screen. Then undo the screws on the opposite side of the vehicle. Take off the exhaust system with a colleague. Dismantle the rear carrier. The transmission is now accessible and you can unscrew the axle drive shaft. In the flange, undo six screws. Upon reinstallation, renew all screws and be sure to follow the current torque values. Turn the rear wheel. This way you get access to all screws of the flange. Put some padding under the drive shaft. Repeat the steps on the other side of the vehicle. On the left of the transmission, undo the ground strap. On reinstallation, renew this screw. Above the ground strap, separate two plug connections. One for the clutch module control unit and one for the switch module control unit. At the rear end of the torque tube, unscrew the heat protection lining. Then place a fluid collecting container under the transmission. First, open the mounting for the hydraulic fluid line. Then afterwards, the connection for the transmission fluid line. Be careful as the fluid could be hot. Pull the hose down a bit and let the hydraulic fluid drain out.
Now seal the hoses and the threaded holes with locking stoppers. At the rear of the transmission, separate the fluid lines for the gear set cooling. Also secure these connections with a stopper. Then disconnect the temperature sensor.